Hey you guys, it's Linux Next here. In today's video, we are going to be learning how to set up HDR on Linux for gaming without needing GameScope. This is going to be an updated guide and it's going to be relatively quick of how to do it. So the first thing that we are going to do is open up our settings and of course enable HDR because that seems like a pretty uh, normal first thing to do. Now for me, I am on Plasma 6.4 beta, so you're going to see some things in here that probably aren't the same for you currently if you're on Plasma 6.3 or if you're on a desktop environment like GNOME. So of course you need to enable HDR. For me, I can do the um, HDR calibration for my monitor and then that gets all the brightness properly for HDR. But for you, it's not going to have that calibration for right now. Maybe in the future when Plasma 6.4 releases, you'll have that actual feature available. But usually there should be a separate toggle or um, brightness slider for HDR, which you can configure. And with the HDR uh, brightness slider, it's a bit odd on Plasma 6.3 or below. Uh, you have to set the brightness to your SDR brightness because HDR is actually going to max out. So you want to set that to the SDR brightness of your monitor, which you'll have to look up. Uh, and then uh, HDR will actually just be working mostly fine. It may look a little bit off, but like I said, if you're on above uh, on Plasma 6.4 when that releases, all that stuff is fixed. All you have to do is click Calibrate HDR uh, Brightness and you'll be able to calibrate HDR yourself. Then the next part is you are going to need a custom Proton Runner because regular Proton does not have the Wayland Wine driver enabled at the uh, build or compile time whenever Valve compiles a new Proton uh, version. They don't have the Wayland driver enabled, so you can't use it. So you need a custom Proton runner and you can grab this app called proton plus or proton up uh, dash qt those are two applications you can grab to uh, inject proton runners into something like steam lutris or whatever so the next part is we are going to grab either proton ge or ge proton or proton cache os now it doesn't really matter which one you grab i'd probably just use ge proton but i in this video we are going to use proton cache os so you can bring down the drop down bar here, a nice list, we can click download, it's going to install it into whatever um, app that you chose, either be Steam, Lutris, Bottles, or Heroic, and then you want to reopen that application so then you can actually use it. If you're on something like Heroic, or Bottles, or even Lutris, they probably already have GE Proton uh, pre-installed, unless you're using Cache OS uh, Proton Runner. Then the next part is we are going to choose a game that supports HDR. So let's say Helldivers 2, for example. So we're going to do properties on it. And then we are going to use these launch commands, first of all, which is going to be proton underscore enable underscore Wayland equals one, which is going to enable the native uh, wine Wayland driver. And then we're going to do proton underscore enable underscore HDR equals one, which is going to use HDR within the video game. Then we are going to go to compatibility and we are going to force a runner on the game, which is going to either be uh, GE Proton or Proton Cache OS. It's really up to you. And that is literally it. Uh, you can click play on a game. So let's say Helldivers 2, for example. And just so you know, uh, for right now, when it comes to using the Wayland uh, Wine driver, uh, games are going to launch wherever your cursor is. So if your cursor is on uh, your second monitor or your third monitor, how many monitors that you have, it's going to launch on that monitor. And as we have launched the game here, if we go to options and we go to display, we can see that high dynamic range is now available to enable. Now for uh, Helldivers 2, there isn't any type of like calibration, like making HDR look nice within the game. Uh, there's only a toggle, but it does apply. If you, uh, you probably notice it on the capture that my manga HUD looks extremely bright now and the game itself looks a lot more brighter and more just colorful. And that's basically it. We can show off some other games of HDR working real quickly, but when it comes to, uh, you know, using HDR without needing game scope uh, is really easy, I would say now. Previous video, which I'll mark as outdated, uh, was a little bit harder. You needed like an extra package, which might've been harder for you to grab. Uh, and then when it came to the um, launch command, it may have been a little bit more confusing, but now I would say it's pretty simple uh, to enable HDR and just Start playing games with HDR enabled. And another game that I've showed in the previous video was Overwatch 2. So same thing, same launch commands, Cache OS, Proton Runner. You can launch it, 
Now, of course, there will be bugs with these runners currently. Things like the Doom games, for example, um, have some issues under uh, Mesa, which are being fixed right now and should almost be available, I would say, uh, with the newer Mesa uh, bug releases that get released uh, bi-weekly. Anyways, as we can see, uh, there is a HDR uh, toggle here. We can enable it. Uh, we can hit apply. It does say that we have to restart to apply these settings. So that is what we are going to do. And as we can see right now, uh, HDR is enabled on Overwatch 2 and it looks really overexposed, uh, as you can see in the um, capture, which is because we need to uh, calibrate it real quickly. So as we can see, uh, Overwatch 2, uh, after relaunching it uh, and then doing the HDR calibration within the plasma settings and then the HDR calibration within the game, uh, it is looking uh, pretty okay, I would say. Probably on the capture, it looks really bright. Uh, but that's probably on purpose. Uh, I tried calibrating it and turning down the HDR brightness a little bit so then it's not really overexposed, but even on the capture, it still looks a bit overexposed on my screen. But as you can see, it is working. All right, and the last game we're going to show off is Cyberpunk 2077. You can do the same thing when it comes to launch commands. Uh, for me, for some reason, the game wouldn't launch under Kashi OS Proton, but it would launch under GE Proton. And as we can see in the settings here, there is a HDR mode available. So we can pick between uh, the two that are available, the PQ and the SCRGB. So I think uh, PQ looks pretty good for me, I would say. We can go into the HDR settings and we can configure all of this stuff, which is changing. So that is the conclusion with this video. Uh, HDR on Linux is becoming easier and easier, I would say. So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely give it a like. Definitely subscribe to the channel. And thank you to my supporters. I appreciate you guys giving me money every single damn month. I'll show a text across the screen of all you guys. And uh, that is basically it for this video. If you have any issues or any of that, just put a comment down below and I'll try and uh, comment back to see if I can solve the problem or just suggest a solution for you. <laughs> Peace. For getting HDR working in video games.